Nearing the start of this one from South Florida, it's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Couldn't ask for a better night for baseball than the one we've got here in Miami as MLB The Show welcomes you to another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight it's game two of this three-game series as it'll be the San Diego Padres taking on the Florida Marlins. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here, Mike Side, joined as always by my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. And Hud will give you the opportunity to speak your mind first. What catches your eye here? Well, one guy to watch here is Nick Hundley. It's tough to expect a lot of offense out of a young catcher, but this club really needs him to step up and be a run producer for him this year. I think he has the makeup to do it, too. We'll see. All right, Rex, Dave will join us momentarily, but first let's get to our starting lineup for the visiting San Diego Padres. It's brought to us by State Farm. Call, click, or visit and start saving today. And on the mound to face this lineup, there you see the numbers for the hard-throwing right-hander, Josh Johnson. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Tony Gwynn Jr. A move towards the batter's boxes. We're just about set to get underway tonight. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. First pitch, 7 11. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Two. two straight fastballs to start things out tonight. He wants to establish speed early. Uh -huh. Get him swinging. Inside, as he might be trying to set him up here, 1-2. and two. Temperature at first pitch. There it is, 79 degrees as we get things started tonight. And this is high for a ball, so from 0-2, he's worked it back to 2-2 two two now. Boy, and that never even threatened the strike zone. You at least got to make him sweat a little. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now a ball hit back up the middle, and a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to open up the ball game. Good job of hitting right there to open up the game. Let's see if they decide to put him in motion. Chase Headley will be the batter. Chase Headley. First pitch coming. Swing and a miss, 0-1. And, and this guy wore the collar yesterday, an 0-4 for 4 game. And a foul ball straight back. And he'll reach to his left to make the catch for route number one. And there are his numbers from last time. He comes off a victory in that performance, so he'd love to duplicate that here tonight. And we'll get our first look at a guy now that was drafted first overall by the Marlins, Adrian Gonzalez.
And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Trying to lock him up there with a fastball. That's a good spot to miss. Gwynn running. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And they will not get Gwynn here as he steals second base. Looking to get on board early here in the first inning. And he's in there with a one-out steal a second. Get the bat out! And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. I don't blame him for taking that. That is some heavy-duty heat right there. And a swing and a miss by Gonzalez as he comes up empty, and there are two away. Oh, look at how late he is on this one. That ball's on his back hip pocket by the time he gets the barrel through. She got to make a commitment to swing the bat a little earlier against a guy throwing in the mid-90s. Scott Hairston will get his first opportunity now. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Come on, guys. Now a ball hit high and deep out there to left center field. And he gets there, as he had a lot of ground to cover that time, and the side is retired. So they get a man to second here in the opening half inning, but fail to capitalize. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. A look there at the Marlins starting lineup, as put together by their skipper, Freddy Gonzalez. And getting his final warm-up tosses in, the starter who they'll be up against, as you see his totals there on the right side of your screen. And behind him defensively, there you see the Padres, led by a two-time Gold Glove Award winner, Adrian Gonzalez, at first base. Into the box here is the shortstop Hanley Ramirez as he'll lead things off in the bottom of inning number one. And that's taken high and outside for ball one. Ball two now. And he's had a pretty good look at those first two pitches. Be aware, 2-0. Oh. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground to short. Tough throw to first. Throw in the dirt, but there to save it is Gonzalez and a fine play there to record the put out. This is hard when your momentum is taking you one way and you got to throw another, but he was right on the money. Leadoff man retired. Here's the left fielder, Chris Coughlin. And a ball, 1-0. Oh. Well, we're going to have to watch where he's missing with that fastball. If he keeps leaving it up, he's going to run into trouble going forward. One zero oh on the way. 
Fastball again, but this one's by him for strike one. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. And it misses, three and one now. And if they walk him, you can bet he's gonna wanna run. In there, and it's full three and two. Come on, crush this next one. Now the three and two pitch. And this is near the line, but foul wide of first. Comes with a fastball as this is lifted the other way out to left center. Blanks will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. And so two are gone now for Jorge Cantu. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Looking real strong here in the bottom of the first. He's just coming right at these guys. And he has to fight that one off as this is foul to the right side. And he's in trouble now, down 0-2. Now the pitch. 0-2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air to right field. Gwynn is right there. As he puts this one away, the side is retired. Nothing in the Florida first. We played an inning in South Florida. No score here on the show. David Eckstein leads things off now in the top half of the second. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Here's the 1-0 to Eckstein. And he misses low with it, 2-0. Trying to work him down the zone. That's just where you need to keep that fastball. Two zero pitch is a fastball low, and it's three and zero now. Yeah, step off, take a deep breath here. You don't want to walk the leadoff guy on four pitches. A strike, and it's three and one. And he's just waiting until he gets a strike. Not a bad decision to start an inning. And this will be grounded foul down the line at third. Come on, Florida! And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Good pitch there to get the leadoff, man, and he's been doing that a lot lately. 3-0 and oh in his starts this month. Oscar Salazar will dig in here. Oscar Salazar. And 
this ball is hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Slider. Good two strike pitch, but it misses one and two. And he likes to throw that slider off the fastball. Might want to make a mental note of that one. And that's taken outside for a ball, so he's worked it back to two and two now. And now's where I think you have to sit change up and react fastball. No score here as we play inning number two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. From 0 oh and two to three and two, he is really making him work out there. Here's the payoff pitch. Come on, no and a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. And ring him up. Strike three called on the fastball, and there are two gone. And ever since giving up that single to lead off the ball game, he has certainly turned things around. That is five straight now. He's retired since then. So two away in the inning now for Kyle Blanks. Good fastball out of Johnson there, and it's strike one. Yeah, and that fastball is showing plenty of life to it in these first couple of innings. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now the 0-1 home to Blanks. And a fastball taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. Carroll is in his tracks now, and he will put it away to retire the side. Padres down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Dan Ugla will start things off in the bottom of the second. Lays off 1-0. one -oh pitch now. Now a ball lined to the right side. But there to take it is Adrian. A nice play by Gonzalez, and that's out number one. Yeah, late swing on the fastball that time. Almost worked out for him, but this finds that big glove down there at first. Cody Ross will stand in, and you see what he's done the past couple of weeks as he looks to keep that streak alive. Curveball and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And this dude's coming off a four for four showing in yesterday's ball game. Bases are empty, one man out. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's two and oh. And you can tell they're thinking do not let him extend his arms, keep pitching him tight. Ball three, three and oh. And now on three and oh, we'll see if Freddie lets him swing away here. Here he comes on three and oh. Three and one. Might have been taken till he got a strike there. Not a bad idea.
Now the 3-1 is pulled on the ground to third. There to take it is Headley. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. Ronnie Paulino will be the batter. Ronnie Paulino. Now here's the first pitch. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. Boy, and he has been razor sharp these first two innings. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Yeah. Hit hard, but foul. Double. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll go now to the top of the third, and we are tied nothing nothing. Nick Hundley is ready to go here as we begin the third. Pitch on the way. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Got to turn him loose now. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Now let's see if he drops that changeup on him again for out number one. Now a fastball swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Looking up is Coglin, but that ball is gone. A solo home run by Nick Hundley. And the Padres bust out in front one to nothing. Well, this year hasn't been all that kind to him average-wise, so it's nice to see him lay into one here. These are the kind of swings you can build on. That might just wake his bat up a bit. Wade LeBlanc digs in at the plate. In there at the knees, strike one. And now you got to snap back in a hurry. You cannot dwell on that home run ball. And the pitch. Now a swing and a ball foul tipped at the plate. And oh boy, that got the home plate umpire right in the arm too. Let's give you another look at this last swing. This is courtesy of State Farm and our show motion camera. Mmm. I tell you, umpire's got it tough back there. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Tried to work it back to that low inside corner, but it misses one and two. Wow, and you can bet he was saving that pitch. Good job to lay off. Go, 
swing and he popped him up over in foul territory back behind third and oh he can't rein it in outside two balls and two strikes the count now the longer this at bat goes the more it swings into a hitter's favor making him sweat out there the seventh pitch coming up Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats. And he's just fighting to stay alive here. Still two and two. And he gets under a fastball here as this is lifted the other way to left center. There to take it in is Coglin, and there's your first out. Well, they finally get him to fly out, but at least he made him work that time. You don't want to run into too many eight-pitch at-bats. Tony Gwynn Jr. will step in now. Tony Gwynn Jr. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Yeah. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. Fouled back. One out, nobody on. And this ball's pulled on the ground down the line to first. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. And a waste pitch there, 1-2. And here's where he likes to bust guys in with that slider. That could be coming next. And now a pitch on the way. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. And let's see if they go back to that changeup for the punch out after he hasn't bit at the last two pitches. Bases are empty, one man out. Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats. And he's just fighting to stay alive here. Still two and two. Right, let's get it back on the bed. And this is swung on and grounded to Ramirez at short. Throw in time at first for route number two. Well, this winds up being a ground out, but still, that's not a bad at bat. He made him throw a lot of pitches to get that out. Chase Headley will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. In there, strike one. Good late break there. Good pitch to get ahead on. Two out, nobody on. And a fastball that misses badly there. It's one and one. Now the 1-1. One, one. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. In there, a base hit. He'll get it into second, but he'll be in there with a double. 
thought this had a pretty good shot of getting out off the bat. You're going to see it hits high off the wall out there and then a good job of getting it back in quickly as he's got to hit the deck with a slide to get in with a double. Adrian Gonzalez will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. And he lays off for ball one. And he's making a lot of high-intensity pitches here early in the game. Something to keep an eye on as we go along. fastball not close it's two and one now and they don't want to make a mistake with a right-handed hitter on deck and a base open so they'll approach him very carefully right here and he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar it's two and two and already we're seeing a lot of deep counts early in the ball game these can really start to pile up if you're not careful Pause, now the pitch, and that's taken high for a ball that's full now, three and two. And you don't want this inning to go any further than this, so I think he'll probably get something to hit here. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Can't fault the pitch there. That's well placed. Maybe just a hair off the outside corner. But that's right where you want that thing on three and two. Scott Hairston will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. And, and Woody Keller's known for having a pretty fair strike zone, but he was pretty generous on that one. And this pitch misses to Hairston, and it's a ball and a strike. <laughs> and he's probably saying, you're not going to call that one a strike also, are you? Swing and a ground ball to first. A flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. But the Padres draw first blood here on the solo home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's 1-0 San Diego. Emilio Bonifacio makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. First pitch coming. Too low, 1 0. And this is on the outside corner, or thereabouts at least. It's 1 and 1. Boy, when you're getting calls out there, you can really be tough to hit. And there's okay. ball two now. Here he comes on two and one. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. Well, if he's ahead of that fastball, what does that tell you as a pitcher? Throw the changeup, and he'll be even more out in front.
three. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Well, and the reason he's having this early success is because he's been changing speeds effectively. You saw it right there. That's what you gotta do. Brett Carroll will take his cuts now. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Boy, he's just sailing along now. And he takes this one high, one and one. Fouled straight back. Marlins are still on the lookout for their first hit of the ball game. On the ground a second. Oh, and it eats him up. But a good job of staying with it as he throws his man out. And this is a good job of not panicking at second base. He knows he's still got plenty of time, so he doesn't try to rush things there. Nice going. Josh Johnson will take his first cuts of the ball game here. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And just one hit for this guy in the campaign, so a second might be a bit of a surprise. Hey. Sticks with the fastball here as he forges ahead 0-2. And, and he's in that mindset now where he can do just about anything he wants to. Here it comes. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. On now to the top of inning number four. The Padres lead it one to nothing. David Eckstein will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. And, oh. and let's see if he can get a little something going in a 1-0 game. The 1-0 pitch. And he takes a cold strike one. He had him out in front, but he couldn't pull the trigger. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. And a diving effort, but this will just tip off his glove, and that's a base hit. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Aboard with the leadoff single, and the way things are shaping up, they're going to need to capitalize on every chance they get because they might not get too many. Oscar Salazar will get another shot. Called out on strikes his first time around. Lays off the slider. Don't know quite where that missed, but it's 1-0. and oh. Eckstein leads. Here's the pitch. And this one's down the middle, a ball and a strike. Boy, he must have been looking off speed because that's as good a pitch as he'll see in this at-bat. And that misses two and one. Now a 
swing and a ball foul tipped right off our home plate umpire. And with no time to react, that is tough duty back there. Let's hope he's okay. Swing and a high pop-up straight back, though it looks as though he'll have room back there. Paulino is out of the crouch and he stays with it for route number one. So we saw the fastball there as he got the pop out and that'll segue right into our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And whoa, look at that for a top speed. 98 miles an hour. That man is flat dealing. Kyle Blanks will try it again. He flew out his first time. And they'll start him with a fastball that's low for ball one. And he watches one split the middle here, one and one. And that's a pitch that's tough to turn around. Now a slider in the dirt. Good block by the catcher there. Two and one. This is your prototypical hit and run count, so you've got to be aware defensively. And a 2-1 slider is looked at for a called strike two. Next pitch from Johnson will be his 74th of the ball game. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Let's see now if they're going to want to think about putting something on here. Come on, don't you walk in. Payoff pitch coming. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. And boy, those last few pitches there were nowhere close to the strike zone. When you've got two strikes on a guy, you've got a little more margin for error, but not that much. So first and second with one man gone, and that'll bring in the young catcher, Nick Hundley. On the ground for Ramirez, this could be two. There's one. On the Cantu, and it's a double play, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Padres one, and the Marlins nothing. It's Tuesday Night Baseball on the show as you take a look at our National League scoreboard. And here on the East Coast, of course, some of these games will be getting underway later on. Henley Ramirez will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Tough guy to face here to start this inning. Now here's the pitch. Here's a ground ball to first. And oh, this hops right up and off his chest at first. Looked like this was going to be a routine or off the bat. Then that thing hits a rock or something and comes up on him and he can't make the play.
Chris Coglin will stand in. First pitch coming. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. And low, it's a ball and a strike. And he may just be biding his time over there at first before he's set loose. There goes Hanley for second. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ball hit hard down the line toward the coaching box. It's a foul ball. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. On at first is Ramirez with nobody out. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Hard or soft, you gotta flip a coin on one and two sometimes. He guessed heads, and it came up tails. Jorge Cantu will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And they pitch out, but no movement from Ramirez. Wheels are spinning now. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. And they pitch out, but no movement from Ramirez. Came back to the pitch out two pitches later, but the runner stays put at first base. Now the 2-1 pitch. Now a fastball for a strike, and from 2-0, and oh, it's back to 2-2. Two and two. And you wonder if maybe he was taken there because he thought his runner was going to be moving from first. And now here's the ball grounded foul over toward third. Runners on first with one down. Lined up the middle. Well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. So two men are gone here in the floor to fourth, and that'll bring in the powerful second baseman, Dan Ugla. First pitch on the way. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Padres lead it one to nothing. Wade LeBlanc will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Swing and a ball popped high in the air and heading for foul territory behind first. Kentu is there to put this one away, and it's a very quick out to start the fifth. Well, it's only April, but he's looking like he's in mid-season form out there right now. His location has been spot on so far. Tony Gwynn Jr. will stride in, grounded out his last time through.
First offering on the way. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Might have wanted to go up and get that one, but wisely laid off. And a foul ball straight back. One run, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Looking to drop one down, but he can't make contact. One and two. I guess he thought he saw an opportunity there, but now he's in a big hole down one and two. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to bury that slider on the hands, but he started this one much too far inside. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Full count pitch on its way. And he's right on the fastball there as this is hit pretty well out towards deep left. Coglin there to grab it as that becomes out number two. And there you get a look at his pitches by inning. You can see the count on the right, 83 for the ball game right now. So that's starting to creep up there just a little bit. Chase Headley will dig in. One for two with a double in this one. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And Cantu will take this one to the bag by himself, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing here this half. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Padres on top, one to nothing. Cody Ross will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. And let's see if he can maybe get a little offense going. One and one. And right about now's where he'll give you that cutter on the hands. Got to be thinking about it. One one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's one and two. And he's done everything right on the mound so far. The mistakes have been almost non-existent. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. A little bit over halfway home tonight, bottom of the fifth, as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys, and they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. One away now for the Marlins in their half of the fifth. And digging in now is the catcher, Ronnie Paulino.
Here's the first offering. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And coming off that long duel to start the inning, you wonder if maybe he'll try to pitch to contact here. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And this crowd's fallen into a bit of a lull here in the middle innings. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Here's the two and two offering. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. And sometimes this is all you have to do. Throw a ton of strikes and keep the ball in the yard. It's worked for him so far. Emilio Bonifacio will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Ball one. Here's a breaking ball, too low, 2-0. Two oh. oh, and he's just had that pitch dancing all night long. That's right, my favorite pitch. Up and out over the plate, but a cold strike, 2-1. and one. And He's taking a little off from his top speed, just need to get one over. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. And he's still yet to issue a free pass tonight, but he's a pitch away from his first right here. The three one coming. In there for a called strike, three and two now. And he's close to hanging another zero here. And this is on the ground toward the hole. And now against his body, a jump throw. And a low throw, but some fine dirt work there by Gonzalez as he digs this one out to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They still trail one nothing. Leading out for the Padres. Adrian Gonzalez will stand in, base on balls his last time. First pitch to him. And that's in there for strike one. And this is the right part of the lineup to maybe get something started for once. Popped him up. Over to the left, but playable over in foul ground. And there's out number one. Well, they shut these guys down to this point. He only allowed that third inning home run, and that has been it. Scott Hairston steps in now. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. 
And this is low, ball one. And even though he's pitching well, this is the part of the order that he's really got to worry about. One run, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. One-0 pitch is right there, but ruled a ball, 2-0. and And this is a good time in the ballgame to be selective. Go ahead and run that pitch count up a bit. Well struck, but foul over by the coaching box. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's 3-1 and one now. Well, there's still a long ways to go in the season, so I'm a little surprised they've let him go as long as they have. Swing and a miss, and the count goes full three and two. Oh, now it's a battle. Who wants it more? Here's the ball hit high in the air and fairly deep toward the right field corner. Carroll is out near the wall as he pulls it in for the second out. And when your guys aren't generating any offense, you can sometimes feel it's up to you on the mound. And he definitely is keeping them in the ball game at this point. David Eckstein will step in, one for two in the ball game. swing and an easy ground ball to first and Cantu will take this one to the bag by himself and that ends the inning so they breeze through this half of the inning we'll see eight nine and one do up in the bottom of inning number six the Padres lead it one to nothing Brett Carroll will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth Action now in the Padre bullpen as it looks like a right-hander is getting loose out there. And here's the first pitch. And they start him out away with a cold strike. And these guys could really use a leadoff base runner here. And here's a pitch swung on and sent on the ground to short. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Starts this inning off the way he started most of the others. You see the line there. No runs allowed and just one hit allowed as well. He is really locked in. And it looks like a pinch hitter is going to be in order here as the powerful Wes Helms gets the nod. Starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. And I can guarantee these guys would love to get a little spark here from the bottom of the order. Come on, come on. And there's ball one. Not a whole lot of action on the scoreboard so far. This crowd's been pretty quiet. Swing, hot shot to the left side. And now he has some trouble with it in left. And a good job of checking in right there. Listen, when you're not in the lineup every day, you want to warm that pencil in your manager's hand. That's a good way to do it. So a runner at first now with one away, and it's back to the top of the order now for Hanley Ramirez. Now here's 
here's the first pitch. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. And that's how 86 can look like 94. Runner at first here, one man out. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. And I'll tell you, when he's missed, he's barely missed. Everything's been around the strike zone. Outside, two and one. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. And that misses, so it's a full count three and two. Well, if he's got the confidence to throw it two and two, let's see if he throws it three and two. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Just the first walk he's allowed to this point, and it comes here in inning number six. That's testament to the way he's been keeping the ball down around the strike zone. No unnecessary base runners. Chris Coughlin will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. First offering. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. and oh. And this game would be tied with just a single, so that needs to be your focus at the plate. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. And that's past the diving infielder for a base hit. And the run will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. And you can see the pitching coach heading for the mound, and he's probably pumping him up a little, saying, hey, look, you're pitching your tail off. Don't get down on yourself. You can get out of this. Come on, let's go. Jorge Cantor will dig in. 0 for 2 thus far. Low for ball one. Got to at least be thinking sack fly here if you're at the plate. The next pitch. Line hard to center field. Hairston is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And that'll bring home the runner from third to make this a two-to-one ball game. Oh, he's got to be feeling snake bit now. He's thinking, what do I got to do to get a knock? Dan Ugla will step in. A ground out victim is last time. And that misses inside, 1-0. and oh. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2-0. and oh. And he needs to get back to being the strike-throwing machine he was earlier in the ballgame. And he gets a piece of it here on 2-0 and as this is foul tipped straight back and into the catcher's mask, as you can hear that one from way up here. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. Gwynn will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We're through six full. The Marlins on top, 2-1. to one. 
Time for another look at the scoreboard tonight as this time we check the action in the American League. So a new pitcher will come on now as we see the right-hander Jose Veras take over. Oscar Salazar will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Now a fastball, and he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Bonifacio will wait on it. One pitch, one away. Well, as he gets the first out here, he's in need of a spotless outing because his ERA coming in was not where he or anybody else wants it to be. So one gone now as that will bring up the powerful Kyle Blanks. And that's by him, it's 0-1. It's one thing to throw strikes, but it's another to throw strikes that catch way too much of the plate. And he misses with it, 1-1. One and, one. and he's not going to swing at borderline pitches. He knows what his assignment is. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. Up with it is Ugla. On to first, and that'll be in time to get Big Blanks two away now. Another good pitch right there for the out. You know his manager would appreciate a quick inning here, and he's been able to record the first two outs on just four pitches. Now back. Nick Hundley will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. I couldn't lay off the pitch inside. It's 0-1. And they could certainly use another home run out of him right here. He comes up empty that time as he's underneath it, 0-2. And if he can get this guy, he'll qualify for a hold if this indeed winds up being his last batter. The 0-2 is a breaking pitch taken for a ball, 1-2. Here's the pitch. Low for a ball as he battles back from down 0-2 to even it up at two balls and two strikes now. Hmm, I think that's the one he wanted him to swing at, but he wouldn't do it. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. And you're definitely not trying to put the tying run on base, so there was no intention with that one. The on and a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for San Diego. They still trail it here, two to one. Now the 
Skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Edward Mujica will be the new pitcher. Cody Ross will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Off the plate and low here, ball one. And when you're struggling to score runs, you really need the heart of your order to get something started. Yeah. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. Yeah, he gets the call, but you don't want to make a steady habit of leaving that slider there. Swung on and missed, one and two now. And it just seems like whoever's out there, they've been in his head all night long. Three. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. And getting that first out is always critical in a one-run ball game. They could certainly use a quick seventh inning here. Ronnie Paulino will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. And now Luke Gregerson starts to heat it up in the Padre bullpen. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. Got to look to try and slap that thing the other way. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. 2-1 our score. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. One one on the way. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Fastball bounces up to the plate, and it's taken for a ball. And now you wonder if he'll get the same pitch 3-1 and one that he did on 2-0. Oh. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. One out, nobody on. Now the three and two pitch. Out in front here as this is pulled down the third base line. Oh, it's Headley. Throw to first and he can't come up with it. And this will be scored an infield single all the way. Great effort there as we check it out in slow motion. But there just wasn't enough time for him to get the out at first. Emilio Bonifacio will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. And this is taken outside for ball one. Boy, and they would love a double play ball right here. Now the 1-0 to Bonifacio. And that's right there, and we're even at one. And remember, this is a very tough guy to double up, so even on a ground ball, they might not get out of the inning.
And this is low, ball two, two and one. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now, three and one. Just got to concentrate on that glove in situations like this. Just get it over. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Well, and this is the old saying, when in doubt, talk it out, as they'll gather the entire infield here to make sure they've got the correct play set up. Brett Carroll will stride in, rounded out his last time through. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Hit hard to the left side, but gloved by the third baseman for the out. And he will make it back in there. He's safe at second base. And this has been a tight ball game so far. If one or two of these start falling in, things could change in a hurry. Not here, though. John Baker will stand in for the first time here. Now the first pitch. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. And the runner is in from second. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. Well, a lot of times as a pinch hitter, you'd like to take a pitch or two just to get the feel for things. But he's a first pitch swinger there, and he comes through. Luke Gregerson will slide in now and try and work out of this one. So a runner at second, two down now, and it's back to the top of the order now for Hanley Ramirez. And hmm, a fairly generous strike call there on a pitch that looked off the plate at strike one. Yeah, nice to get that call right out of the bullpen. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole. What a stop! And not too shabby out of the pen. Takes just two pitches to get the ground ball, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Marlins four and the Padres one. Burke Badenhop will come in and pitch now. Dusty Ryan will start things off for the Friars here. Gwynn to follow. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. And this is a tough play here as we see it again in show motion. Look at him jump off that left foot, then freeze it right there. He's completely in the air when he lets this go. That's a big league play right there. Tony Gwynn Jr. will get another crack, one for three thus far.
And now Leo Nunez starts to loosen up in the Florida bullpen. First pitch coming. And that misses ball one. And this has been a well-played ball game. No errors on either side. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. And that almost had a little cutting action to it that time. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. And even though that's a ball, that's a good spot for that baby. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Let's get down here. And here's a good sinker now, but it misses three and two. And now on three and two, let's see if he gets a fastball here. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. And this is hit sharply toward the third base coaching box. A foul ball. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground a second. Throw gets him, two down. Nice play there by the second baseman going to his right. He's got the option of either backhanding this or going for the sliding stop, and he decides on the ladder and turns it into a fine play. Chase Headley will step in, a ground out victim his last time. First pitch coming. Swing, hard hit ball to second. There to take it is Ugla. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. Florida's out in front, four to one. And we'll have a new pitcher come on now as the veteran cut fastball specialist Mike Adams gets the assignment. Chris Coglin will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Padres are going to get something going out in the bullpen now as a left-hander has stood up to throw. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. And that misses one and one. Coughlin awaiting the one one. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. With that, we'll give you a look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers in the game. And the column to look at is the one on the right side of your screen. Not too many hits to go around at this point in the ballgame. Jorge Cantu will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around.
Now the first pitch. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Well, in this game, no lead is ever safe. They're up by a comfortable margin here in the eighth, but stranger things have happened, so you can bet they'd like to tack on another run to that lead. Dan Ugla will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Now ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Nice little insurance run out there at second. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a miss and it's a ball and two strikes here. And he's living dangerously now. He won't keep getting away with that location. Now Ugla swings and misses on a good two strike pitch that time as he's retired for route number two. Well, he just hadn't looked very comfortable up there throughout the entire game. He might have been pressing a little bit right there because he chased a bad pitch, and now he's going to head back to the dugout wearing an 0-for-4 collar. Cody Ross will have another go. He struck out looking his last time. First offering on the way. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. And on the mound, you've got to keep this game within striking distance at three, so that's an important run out there at second base. Hit hard, but fouled off to the left, and that'll keep you honest as a third base coach. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. Marlins leave one as they hold on to a 4-1 to one lead. On to try and close this one down is the veteran right-hander Leo Nunez. Adrian Gonzalez will stand in, needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And here in the ninth, it's going to take all hands on deck if these guys want to make a game of it. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. And now you just got to worry about getting on base. That tying run still in the hole. Right. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. And Cantu will just step on the bag himself for the out. Always good to get that first out in the ninth, especially when it's a number three hitter. Two outs away now from picking up the save. Scott Hairston will dig in here. Scott 
First pitch on the way. In there, 0-1. Josh Johnson in line for the W if the lead holds throughout. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Go now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw on to first, and the Padres are down to their final out now. Two up and two down in the night so far. This one looks just about to be in the bag. David Eckstein will stand in as their last chance now. Right. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And he's closing in on his eighth save if he can finish the job here. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a bullet toward third. And that's a base hit. And it bounces around down there now. The relay. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. Well, they've been held off the scoreboard since that home run back in the third, so maybe this can jumpstart them. Oscar Salazar will stand in, but with the tying run still in the on-deck circle, he needs to get on base somehow. This one runs up high, ball one. And now if he can get on, he's got a chance to make this interesting. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Lays off again and it's 2-0. and oh. Can't worry at all about that runner at second here. His run means nothing. Just go right at this guy. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. And that thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. Swing and a ground ball towards the middle. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. And it looks like home cooking may be doing them good as they're able to take the first two games of the series here at home. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Six strong innings, Matt. I was a little surprised they pulled him so soon, but nonetheless, the bullpen did his job and got him the victory. So that'll wrap things up here tonight. For Dave Campbell, Rex Hudler, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskirgen. This has been a presentation of MLB 10 The Show. For even more, join us on the web at MLB10TheShow.com. The Marlins win it 4-1. to one. A post-game highlight package is next, so until next time, good night from South Florida.